I love this game! This might be my favorite game of all time. And yet, despite this, I've actually done a pretty terrible job of revisiting this game. Like, I can't remember the last time I played it. Heck, I can't even remember why it's my favorite game. So I'm kind of hoping here that as I play through this, I'll kind of be reminded why I like this game so much. For example, we have this opening cinematic. This is actually pretty cool, we got a musical number here. Tell you what, Super Mario 64 didn't have a musical number. I mean, it had a stretchy face on the title screen, and that was kind of neat. But this... Stuff like this really fascinates me. Like, having animations tied to music. It's kind of like why I am such a big fan of older theatrical cartoons. Because it's impressive to not only have animations tied to music and synced up with music, but also actually have the music sound good, rather than being synced with the animation just for the sake of being synced with the animation. Anyway, yeah, this here, Banjo-Kazooie. Like I said, it's my favorite game of all time, and at the time of the stream, I am streaming this to take a break from Paper Mario because, boy, that playthrough is exhausting. Like, we're talking hours of preparation and note-making before every stream. This'll be much easier for me. This is gonna be a 100% playthrough, and I'm not gonna need to take notes because I've actually 100% this game on multiple occasions. So I have a pretty good idea of what I'm doing. In fact, one of these here, there it is. There is my most recent 100% completion. I think that's also a record time for me, under 10 hours. Not that I was speed running or anything. I just happened to do it really fast at one time. And here is my previous record. It won't hurt to delete this. Let me go ahead and erase this. Naturally, for this playthrough, I'm going to be choosing the file in which Banjo is playing a Game Boy. Game Boy is pretty much my favorite game system ever, so it's kind of fitting that it's being played in my favorite game ever. It's kind of interesting, though. Even in the Xbox ports, he's still playing a Game Boy. I'll talk about more about that later. Maddie Ratati, the Maddie Ratty, who is no longer Maddie Ratata, says, Notice my auto host didn't pick you up. Yeah, I gave up on auto hosting. I have auto hosts on multiple people, and it rarely works. Although it sometimes does work for you. So at least there's that. <laughs> ding pot, ding pot, by the bench. Who is the nicest looking wench? Why is Grunty any day? She really takes my breath away. <coughs> yes, you're right. I'm rather proud. My looks stand me out from the crowd. I love the dialogue in this game. Uh, there is this girl. What do you mean this cannot be? There's no one prettier than me. Why is Tootie young and small? She's the prettiest girl of all. No, 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 you must be mad. Nicer beauty can't be had. Unfortunately, I think you'll find it's Tootie. She's cute and kind. Well, we'll see about that. And that's probably like the only time in the game where she does not rhyme. Rintilda there is a very interesting villain, not evil, not only being an evil witch, but an evil rhyming witch. She is very much memorable like that. Hi there, Tootie! What are you going to do today? When my big lazy brother wakes up, 
we're going on an adventure. That adventure will never happen. Maybe if Banjo 3 ever happens, Tui can be a playable character. Wake up! I want to go on an adventure too! If Tootie thinks she's fairer than me, I'll steal her looks and ugly she'll be. She probably doesn't even know who you are. Is that your brother? Where, Mr. Mole? I can't see him. Up there in the sky. I don't think so. Who is that? Come to me, my little pretty. You'll soon be ugly. What a pity. Let me go, you ugly old hag. Don't scratch and bite, my little bear. You'll soon need bigger underwear. Oh no! She's got her! Somebody! Help! Banjo! Wake up! Now! Yawn. What do you want, Kazooie? Let's get outside! There's trouble! Oh, I am already enjoying this so much. <sighs> so, I finally get control. I say finally, but that was such a fun opening. Listen up, I'm Bottles, the short-sighted mole. I'm Banjo, and this here's my buddy Kazooie. Sure is a strange-looking buddy, Banjo. Can it talk? Better than you can, Goggle Boy. What was all that noise about? Where's my sister, Tootie? The ugly witch Gruntilda swooped down out of the sky and grabbed her. Calm down, Geeky. We'll get her back. Where did she go? She flew up to her mountain lair. It's really dangerous, so you'll probably need to some training before you go up there. Press say if you want me to teach you some basic moves, or press B if you think you're already good enough. So here's the thing about this game. This is like the only game I can think of where going through the tutorial is actually fun because of the dialogue. So of course I'm going to do it. We'd like some help bottles, what do we do? Explore this area and look out for my molehills. Stand next to them and press B to call me. See you soon! By the way, I hope you don't mind that I'm reading the dialogue out loud despite there being little squeaky voices accompanied with the dialogue. Force of habit would feel really weird not to read the dialogue. Er, uh, anyone home? Hello again! Let's start with the camera controls. They're on the yellow C buttons. Jeez, that's nothing special. Try this then, Beaky. Tap R to move the camera behind Banjo. Is all, that all worm breath? No, hold R to keep the camera behind your feathery butt. Try it out! I'll see you at the next molehill. So as far as camera controls go, this game has some pretty good ones. It's incremental, but it doesn't, like, get in the way of things too much, and it doesn't have... too much trouble with walls. I mean, a little bit. If there's a wall there, of course it doesn't want to pass through it. It's certainly better than Mario 64's camera, though. And of course, pressing R to get it behind me is super duper helpful. Hmm, your jump could do with some help. Pa, what do moles know about jumping? More than you. Press A to jump and hold it to jump higher. Okie dokie. I did a small jump, but he's okay with that. 
Come on, Feathers. You can give him a hand. Why? I look silly. I know it. Jump and press A again in the air for a double jump. Indeed, double jumps. Kind of a new thing back then. Kind of in every platformer now. That's it. We're ready to move on. Not until you learn this one. First, you must stand like this. What, wearing ridiculous glasses and a silly grin? I'm not listening. Hold Z, then press A for the mighty flip, flap flip jump. All oh, right. That's all the jumps. Keep practicing. So, as part of tutorial area, we also get these things right here. These are kind of important. I'm an extra honeycomb piece. Collect six of us, six of us to increase your energy bar. It's kind of interesting how the dialogue is like that with all the squeaky voices. If I might sit here a moment to reminisce a little. I mean, remember back in the days of Nintendo Power when they were talking about this game? And they were talking about voices in the game, and it's like, wow, this game has voices? Because back in the day, voices in video games were pretty uncommon. Actually, in a way, they're still kind of uncommon at times. Hmm. Anyway, thought it was kind of interesting, and then it turned out that they're not real voices, but squeaky ones. Fancy learning to swim underwater? Ugh, sounds difficult. And I'll get my fur wet. Come on, Banjo. I want to swim. Spill the beans, Becky. Use the control stick to swim on the surface. To swim underwater. Press B to dive. Go on, give it a try. Okie dokie. While underwater, Banjo can press A to kick his legs, and the Winged Wonder can press B to use her wings. Winged Wonder is probably one of the only compliments that Kazooie is going to be getting from bottles. Alright, there's a secret over here that I'm going to totally get while I am over here. There's that, and... Look out for me, I'm an extra life. As you might expect in a 3D platformer, extra lives are kind of pointless. They're just kind of there. But hey, you got a nice fanfare from them. Hey Banjo, I hope you're not afraid of heights. I'm not. Tell me about flying, Brute Muncher. Not yet. Banjo, jump onto a tree, then use the control stick to climb up or down. Simple task. I'm gonna go ignore this tree right here and try this out on this tree right here. You'll find plenty of other things to climb. Indeed. Naturally, the bear is going to have a climbing ability. And just to see some optional dialogue, I'm going to go ahead and come up here before I'm supposed to. Hey! Where are you guys going? We're off to whack the witch and rescue Tootie. You haven't learned all the basics yet. She'll kick your butt. She can try, the old hag. The bridge is broken, and I'm not fixing it until you learn all the moves. Come on, Kazooie, let's go and find the ones we missed. And just to point it out, indeed... This is kind of broke. Pretty sure there's no way to sneak across it either. 
Nope. In case you're wondering, there is fall damage. Thankfully, I did not fall far enough to trigger it. My big barge attack needs the help of old chicken legs. At least I've got some legs, short stuff. Z, press B for a powerful beaky barge. See, Banjo? She is useful for something. I'm trying this move out on you next, Jam Jars. Um, Jam Jars is actually Bottle's brother. <sighs> this is an interesting string of insults between them. And to think, Bottle started it by calling it to uh, calling Kazooie ugly. Banjo, it's time for you to learn the claw swipe attack. What is it? I must know. Simply press B when standing still or moving slowly. Sounds good. What can I try it out on? Well, how about bird brain? Just try it, bottle boy. Only kidding. Let me find something with a challenge. Ah. There's Topper. Whack him, Banjo. Ah, yes, the Claw Swipe. Easily the most useless attack in the game. Wow, nice one. Try another. Hey, I want some moves. You've had some moves. It's Banjo's turn. Now try my fearsome forward roll. I want to learn to fly now. Roll by running and pressing B. I'll see if I can find ball for you to practice on. Now this attack is one I'll be using a whole lot more often. It's got some range. Bullseye! One more! Stop rolling, I feel sick. It's time for the buzzer to learn a trick. It better be a good one, Squinty. Try out the rat attack wrap by jumping and pressing me in the air. Now where's Collywobble? Of course all of these enemies gotta have names. Hmm, not bad, Featherface. Gimme another, bog eyes. Nope, his box doesn't trick her until he's out. That's it! You've learned all the basic moves. Meet me at the top of the spiral mountain, and I'll tell you what to do next. And so ends the tutorial. By the way, in case you're wondering, you can get these honeycombs without doing the tutorial tutorial. I just do it for the dialogue. Alright, back up we go. As we head up here, just a random bit of trivia. This is not my original copy of the game. My original copy of the game kind of broke somehow, and so I wound up asking my parents to get me another copy some Christmas. That tells that kind of tells you how much I enjoy this game. I think the only other game that I did that with was Pokemon Blue, when I lost my original copy of that. Well done, guys! You're ready to tackle the witch now! We sure are! Show us the way, Bottle Boy! I fixed the bridge so you can cross it and enter Gruntilda's lair. Thanks, Bottles! Look out for me inside! Good luck! Look out, huh? Are you dangerous? Ooh. Creepy music time.
This fine contraption, so I'm told, will make me young and tooty old. Let me go, you fat hag. My brother will come and kick your butt. Rescue you, we will not dare. There's many dangers in my lair. Hurry, Klungo, push that switch. I'm tired of being an ugly witch. You didn't know you were ugly until an hour ago or less. 20 minutes? Close enough. There he is! The fun begins! My tricks and traps will see who wins. Alright, so welcome to the hub world of the game. Basically, Gruntilda's lair is the entrance to every world in the game. Kind of like Mario 64. You found a jigsaw picture, stand on the jigsaw shaped podium, and I'll explain what you have to do. To enter the world shown on the picture, you must fill in the missing spaces with the jigsaw pieces. Uh, I don't think we've found any of those yet. I think I saw one near the lair entrance. Come back when you found it. Alright. I could have grabbed it already, but I just wanted to trigger that dialogue. It is fun triggering dialogue. Speaking of which... I'm still here, I watch you play. But I can't think of much to say. Oh boy, I know exactly how that is. I'm a streamer. And yet, I still have a little trouble coming up with things to say sometimes. Hey, it's me, Mr. Jiggy. Now go and find a picture with a piece missing. Speaking of having things to say, I've been wanting to let's play this game for years and years. But I decided to hold off until I was certain I was good enough to be entertaining and make a good playthrough of this game. Well, I've been doing this for 10 years now. If I'm not good yet, I never will be. We've got the first jigsaw piece, Goggle Boy. Great! To fill in the missing spaces on a picture, press A. If you don't want to use any jigsaw pieces, press B to leave. And that's it! The picture is complete and the door to Mumbo's Mountain is open. That was such an easy fit. The others may just test your wit. Alright, and so concludes the opening of the game. We're about to go here on an episode break. I'm going to unbreak because at YouTube, I'm going to split these into smaller episodes. And when we come back from this here break, we'll be starting up Mambo's Mountain. I am excited!